Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jiu Jitsu 2000 here today. I hope you guys are doing wonderful. I'm back. I've got an interesting video for you. Today, I want to talk about a new offering from Olight. This is a bicycle light. This is model RN 1500. And you heard that right, 1,500 lumens out of this light and a maximum throw of 164 meters. I'm very, very happy about this light. I played with it a lot yesterday and this thing is absolutely fabulous. Let me go ahead and read the back to you. It says RN 1500 specifically designed for serious cycling demands and challenging riding conditions. It's a multifunctional bicycle light powered by a 5,000 milliamp hour 21700 lithium ion battery with a maximum output of 1500 lumens. Now I did some night shots yesterday that I'll cut in later in this video and it's bright and I love the beam profile that this light puts out it's really really good all in one design bike headlight suitable for road urban and mountain trails so you could roll up on this road here behind me on your mountain bike with something like this this is a cool light anti-glare light distribution with safe cutoff line to reduce visual distractions for motorists, cyclists, or pedestrians. It has USB-C charging and discharging integration port that supports heavy current. Very cool. And then it says, hence, to bring faster charging and discharging experience. RN1500 can be tightly installed on out front mount or under GoPro camera mounts. It's a powerful, reliable companion in the dark. I'm just super, super excited about this light. It's got a lot of good stuff to it. Now the specs, it's got five modes of operation. It's got low, medium, high, and then it has flash one and flash two. So low is 300 lumens, 12 and a half hours of runtime. Medium is 750 lumens, and that runtime is four hours. High, 1500 lumens for 1 1.6 hours. And then the flash one, it says zero to 750 lumens It'll last 11 and a half hours. And then flash two, it says zero to 750 lumens, lasting 10 hours. The candela rating on this light is 6700. It has an IPX7 waterproof standard. So for those of you that don't understand those IPX and what those numbers mean, seven means that this light can go under water. For brief periods of time it's not designed for that but it can do it so that means if you got this light on your bike and you get in some heavy heavy downpour you're gonna be fine no problem just make sure that that rubber uh, charge port is in place I'll show you that here in a minute impact resistant down to one meter now this lights not made out of plastic or something like that this is aluminum body housing that this light's made out of. Let's talk about the dimensions here. Length is 4.21 inches and the diameter is 1.22 inches. If you want to talk about the length in millimeters, it's 107 millimeters long and 31 millimeters in diameter. The weight is 172 grams or 6.08 ounces. So that's a look at everything that I just read to you. 
If you want to look at that, those are the specs. Maybe you want to take a picture of that. Feel free to pause your screen. So let's open this up. It says, thank you for being a part of our Olight family. Your support is why we do this. Enjoy, Olight team. Then you got to pull this little tab up. And it basically talks about how to charge the light. It talks about the how, how to operate the light. And then it says, don't let anything get near the top of the light. Because this light does produce some heat. So you can see that it's packaged very well. Right here, this is the actual mount that goes around your handlebars. And then this part right here is a attachment system that lets this light slide into place. So it's, it's like they, they just come together like this and then you twist the light into place and it kind of clicks. So it's super cool. I would put this on the front, towards the front of the, of the bike. So you just put the light in there and it clicks right into place. But let me give you a look at this light. Look at that, that's the top of the light. There's the side, RN 1500. Here's the back, and this is that charging port cover that I was telling you about. You, you move this charging port cover out of the way and you can expose the USB-C charge port. Now, make sure that this cover is in place for this light to go underwater. If that cover's not in place, you're gonna lose that IPX7 waterproof rating, but that's pretty simple. They did a good job making a nice area for that to fit in. That's a look at the other side of the light. Here's a look at the lens itself. Very cool looking light. That is just absolutely fantastic. There's a look at the bottom. And this is already mounted. And again, it just, it just corresponds and clicks right into place. Very, very smart mounting system. Very cool. So you would tighten your Allen wrench and it would tighten this little strap. And that's how that thing mounts. Very, very cool system. I really like it a lot. It's cool because you can leave the mount on your bike and then when you want to get off your bike to go in, maybe you're going to go eat some food at a restaurant or whatever and you don't want somebody to steal your light, you just give that thing a half a twist or a quarter twist actually. It's only one quarter and the thing comes off. Very, very cool attachment. Very cool thing here. So let's take this foam out. There's more stuff underneath, so we'll pull this little cardboard portion off. And here you'll see the USB 2 to USB-C charging cable. That's included with the light. Right here, there's your, your Allen wrench to tighten up the light once you get that thing mounted to your handlebars. Here is another mount that will go onto your GoPro mount. Okay, so that's cool. If you got a GoPro thing, you can stick that on your GoPro mount, and then this will click right into place on your GoPro mount. That's super cool to have that option, to be able to mount that to your GoPro. Very, very cool. Right here are two more straps that are different sizes. So these different size straps, in case you have a different size handlebars, maybe you're mounting it to something that's a little thicker so you have that option covered so very cool very cool that they include all that and then of course the last thing that you see in the box here is the owner's manual itself so there's a look at the owner's manual and I love the way Olight does their owner's manuals they're very easy to understand very easy to read feel free to pause your screen if you want to hang on to any of that information very cool light and then on the back right here it talks about how to operate the light very simple now the the cool thing about this light is when you push this button briefly you see that it illuminates green it tells you your battery level status very cool And your, your battery level indicator will be green if you're between 21% all the way up to 100%. It'll turn red when you're between 11 and 20%. And then when you're below 10%, it'll flash red. So it's very cool. 
and when the light is off you can see that I'm accessing that just simply by pressing the button. When the light is turned on you'll notice that this stays illuminated the whole time. Now to operate the light it's very simple. We're gonna long press the button. The light comes on. From here we're gonna single press to cycle through the modes. There's low, there's medium, there's high. Look at that on my shirt low, medium, and then high. Now if you want to get to the flashing modes, you got to double press quickly. Let me go back to low. You got to double press quickly and it will go to the second mode, which is the flashing mode. So let me do that. One, two. There's your first flashing mode. That's what you get. And then from there, a single press takes you to the second flashing mode. Now if you want to go back to your normal operation, double press again, you got to do it quickly, and you're back to low, medium, high. Now remember this, the light have a, has a memory. This light has a memory. So right now I'm on low. If I long press to turn the light off, and then I long press to turn the light back on, look at that, it came right back to low. Let's say we were on high. Long press turns it off, long press turns it back on, look at that, right back to high. Let's go to the second mode of operation. So let's say we're on this mode of operation. Long press turns it off, long press turns it back on, look at that. It will remember where you were. Let's say you don't like that setting, let's say you like this strobe setting. Long press turns the light off, and I'm just showing you that this light has a memory. Long press turning it back on, look at that. Right back to that strobe setting. And again, to get back to low, medium, and high, double press quickly, and there you are. There's low, there's medium, there's high. There's strobe one, or flash one. Single press takes me to flash two. Double press takes me back to low, medium, and high. And I like it on low. Long press turns the light off. Again, when you long press and the light turns on, this power level indicator stays illuminated the whole time. I think this is just a fabulous light. I really like what they've done here. And this thing, the, the body that this light is made out of is aluminum. This is aircraft grade aluminum. Very nice design, very nice way they did this. I like this light. You can take this charge port off, this cover, not off, but open it up, and then you can have access to that USB-C. Very cool. And I've actually seen people using this as a charging station to charge their phone. So they're using the light as a battery bank. Very cool. When you charge this light, you're using your USB-C charge, this light will illuminate red when charging and green when charging is complete. So this setting, what we're looking at here, this is low. This is 300 lumens. So that's, the camera doesn't really justify too much but I can see those trees off in the distance. This setting will last 12 and a half hours. And you can see the green battery level indicator is illuminated on the light. If we push the button again, we'll move up to medium. Medium is 750 lumens, four hours of runtime. And that just lights up the whole canopy. I can see the, the trees, I can see the the foliage, I can see the pine needles, everything. That's crazy. And then if I push it again, it'll bump up to high. This is 1500 lumens. This is bright. And on this setting, it'll last for 1.6 hours. Now if I double press, you'll see that we'll go into flash number one. 
this is anywhere from 0 to 750 lumens and this will last for 11 and a half hours if I press a single press it'll go to the second flash mode from 0 to 750 lumens and on this setting it'll last for 10 hours so this is a very nice light very cool to get back to low medium and high we just double press and then again we single press to cycle through the modes low medium high this is a very nice light you can see very clearly what's going on low medium high no problems even all the way up into the treetops up there you can see clearly the treetops this is a very floody type beam it's not a it's not like a thrower or anything like that it's a very floody beam it's a wide pattern so it's perfect for if you're riding a bicycle and I love that that battery level indicator is illuminated all the time so folks with all that I want to say thank you for joining me today on watching this video of the brand new Olight RN 1500 this thing is cool let me go through those run times again real quick. I'm going to look down. Low is 300 lumens, 12 and a half hours. Medium is 750 lumens for 4 hours. High, 1500 lumens, 1 1.6 hours. Flash 1 is uh, 11 and a half hours and flash 2, 10 hours. So with all that being said, folks, I want to say thank you for stopping by and watching this video today of the brand new Olight RN 1500. I think this is a fabulous light. If you're into cycling, motorcycles, dirt bikes, you want something solid, maybe even your GoPro type mounts, you want to mount that to your GoPro mount, boom, right there. So maybe you have your GoPro mount on your helmet. You know, you're using your, your uh, helmet. You got your thing already mounted and you want to mount your light so you take your GoPro off and then you put your light on this is super cool very cool light hope you guys are doing well please make sure you check the description box down below and if you're gonna do anything Olight please use my affiliate link I appreciate that it helps me out and you can also use my coupon code of jujitsu2000 to save a little money doesn't cost you anything doesn't cost me anything it just helps me out. So thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.